Well, the search is on tonight for those who fired shots into a business and a home in Annapolis. Police say the shooting happened late last night on St. Margaret's Road. Richard Reeve has reaction from neighbors. Candace, this is a very quiet Annapolis neighborhood. It's almost rural. Well, Friday night, that quiet was shattered by gunfire. Now, tonight we spoke with one homeowner who says his house was struck not once, but twice by bullets. Along quiet St. Margaret's Road in Annapolis, an alarming discovery. I heard something hit the house, like maybe a bottle breaking or something like that. But this homeowner soon learned it wasn't a bottle, but two 22 caliber bullets. Oh yeah, it woke us both up. One slug ripped through a bedroom window, just feet above his sleeping wife's head. The other went through a living room wall and shattered a mirror, just feet from where the man was watching TV minutes before. Nervous, you know, why somebody, you know, couldn't figure out why, you know, it hopefully was just a random act. You can see two more bullet holes in a neighbor's siding and window frame. I, I think it's insane. Just down the street, more bullet holes in the front window of this bake shop. Customer Charles Doerr doesn't know what to think. Can any sort of shooting in the neighborhood? It's terrible. Police responding to reports of gunshots around 11:30 Friday night found three buildings, all like this. Whoever did this has to have known that there are consequences, and I hope that they would have the common sense not to do it again. And our homeowner, well, he says he's keeping his eyes wide open from now on. It ain't gonna scare me out of my house. Ain't gonna happen, you know. But yeah, I am, uh, you know, alert, more alert than I was before. The homeowner tells us that police removed several slugs from his house. Now, we should tell you as well that two of three buildings had people inside. A lot of folks say it's a miracle no one was hurt. In Glen Arden, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News.